now that you're a senior, I guess uh, as a team, you guys are one of the hunted as opposed to being a hunter. What's it like to have that bullseye and have that pressure on your guys' back that people expect you to win night in and night out? I mean, it's kind of like a blessing and a curse. I mean, we're getting recognized for our accomplishments, but also we got guys coming for us, so we can't, we can't let up and we got to keep working hard. What do you like about this East Noble team? What are going to be your strengths as a squad heading into this season? We bring back a lot of players from last year, so our chemistry will be pretty well, and I feel like we're uh, very well-rounded. I mean, a uh, good post and a uh, good uh, outside players. When you take a look at uh, this offseason, what did you guys work on as a team that's going to have you uh, improved upon what we saw last year and help take you help you guys to take that next step? I mean, just a lot of skill work and uh, playing together as a team. I mean, we always got to be in sync this year. That's something I feel like last year was a little bit of our downfall. We weren't in sync all the time, so this year just building our chemistry and uh, looking forward to a great year. Who are going to be some guys uh, that maybe didn't play uh, as big a role last year that are going to step up into bigger roles this season for the Knights? I mean, guys like Michael Klein, Nate Dixon, I mean, Brent Cox, those type of guys will uh, be huge for us this year. I mean, a lot of teams we focus on, me and Hayden, so those guys will need to step up and make plays themselves. Uh, final question, what are you most looking forward to about this upcoming season uh, in the Big Blue Pit? I'm just excited. I mean, just uh, uh, one last ride and go out with my teammates and make a deep postseason run. Well, obviously, we, we've got a lot back. You know, we, we, we've got uh, four starters back and, you know, six guys that played a lot of basketball last year. And we, we accomplished some things last year that haven't been done in a while. And uh, we're, we're, we're very important building blocks for us. Uh, you know, w winning uh, the conference for the first time since, since 2000 and, you know, winning a sectional game for the first time in 10 years. And, uh, you know, w winning road games in tough environments, just, just things that, you know, hadn't been done in a while are really, really important for us. And so, you know, when our guys were, you know, just, you know, any time a season ends, it's not easy. But when our guys, uh, you know, the, the entire summer, the entire offseason have been, have been looking forward to getting back on the court and kind of avenging that season-ending loss, you know, that, that, that's fun to see. And you know you got a group that, uh, that, that wants, to, wants to be a part of something special. When you take a look at your roster, uh, you start with Ali Ali, about six foot eight, I think is what he's listed at as a point guard, D1 guy going to Akron. How does he set the table and how does he make, you know, maybe the guys around him better? And who are some other guys that are going to be taking, you know, some, maybe not supportive roles, but starring roles as well for this East Noble team? Well, obviously, uh, Ali's his skill set is unbelievably good. Uh, very, very talented, but he's very skilled. It's because he's worked at it. Um, you know, he's, he's got that size, but but he's got incredible skill that he's put the time in. And um, what what makes him so special is is one his selflessness. You know, he he, he cares about his teammates. He he cares about. Um, you know, playing the game the right way. Uh, you know, there's there's times where he needs to be a little bit more servant. I think that's where he'll make his biggest jump this year is is with that killer instinct and and being able to to score the ball as well as he does everything else uh, all the time. Um, you know, we've got obviously a great point guard in Hayden Jones. Any good team at any level has a good point guard, mm -hmm. and, and he's a great two-way player for us. You know, we've got we've got size. We've got the ability to rebound the basketball. You know, we've got some some guys that are willing to be glue guys and, and defend and and rebound and screen do those dirty things. So, you know, our balance will really be good to us this year, and, and our roster is something we're really excited about and having a bench that can uh, can make an impact. I think when you take a look at East Noble in years past, it's like it's been a nice season. It's been a good season. They're a good team. And it's been, I don't want to say a surprise, but historically it had been a while. Now people look at you guys as a dog. They look at you guys as, as a hunted team. Uh, how, do you, how does this team handle that mentality, knowing that this is a team that people are gunning for now and, and the target is on their back? Well, you know, last year I thought our guys were really, really hungry. I thought they, they knew that it had been a while and they, and they wanted to make a statement. So, you know, this year, you know, our focus coming in has to be the the cliche day by day. You know we can't get ahead of ourselves, and obviously we have goals and aspirations. But you know we got to make sure we stay grounded and understand that the day by day is what gets it done, and we we've got to get better uh, throughout the season. But that that hunger and that humility is going to be really really important for us um, in November and December, uh, so we don't get ahead of ourselves and, and continue to look forward to the end of the season.